Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. This is Tony, and in this video I'm going to show you what I picked up this week from uh, local comic shops, and I got two books from mycomicshop.com, so stick around. Hey everybody, this is Tony, and I want to welcome you to another uh, Comiverse video. In this video, we're going to talk about, or I'm going to show off some of the books I picked up this week at my LCS, some of the new titles I'm newer titles I'm currently reading um, then I'm gonna show off a couple issues that I picked up from my comic shop and uh, I hope you like them so first off we have Devil's Reign Omega this is the conclusion of the Devil's Reign story arc that ran for the last what, couple months uh, written by Chip Zdarsky I believe there's a backup story I don't remember who wrote it featuring the new mayor of uh, New York uh, Luke Cage and uh, pretty interested to see how this goes after the ramifications of the main Devil's Ark storyline. So I'm looking forward to reading that. And in case I didn't mention it, this variant art cover is done by Peace Momoko. Next up, we have Daredevil number one, um, the first of a new series written by Chip Zdarsky and done with by, art by Cachetto. Um, very interested to see where this storyline continues. Uh, I love the books from Zdarsky that he did in the last run. Um, I believe I started reading it around issue 17, and it was a pretty good story art. And I'm very interested to see how Daredevil goes on. Next up, we have Amazing Spider Man number five. This is the conclusion of the story arc with Tombstone. Um, very interested to see how this goes on with his war against the Rose. And uh, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I think the next issue is the issue 900, or the 900th issue in the Legacy printing. All right, going on, we have Spawn number 331. Um, I've been reading all the Spawn books because, for one reason, they're $2.99, and uh, I like to support Todd. And uh, this is all the books have been really, really good. Um, Spawn in this issue, uh, well, last issue. The Forsaken had taken out the Exodus Foundation, and we find out that Overkill has returned. So I'm very interested to see how the story progresses. All right. And the last of the new books, we have King Spawn number 12. And uh, in the last issue, Terry Williams tried to destroy the God Throne. And uh, we'll find out if he succeeded. And Spawn continues his war against the Court of Priests. This has been a really good series so far as well. All right, so two books I picked up from uh, mycomicshop.com. The first one is Electra number one from the 90 series. And I just got this one because I had it when it first came out and I really love the book. And um, for $1.80, I couldn't pass up adding it to the collection. And the other book I got from mycomicshop.com is Captain America number 272. This is the first appearance of Vermin. Um, this book spiked a little bit when they were talking about the Craven the Hunter movie, but now it's dropped back down significantly. I think I paid five bucks for this, but uh, I add this to my run, and now I have a run of cap from 272 to 426. No, excuse me, 428. And the last book for this video, I picked this up at one of my other LCSs, and... Uh, figured what the heck this is Punisher number 10 um, this actually back in the day was my first Punisher comic I ever bought uh, the story details or the story is about a guy that is going around and putting cyanide in aspirin bottles and mouthwash which is very similar to the real life events that were going on at that time where somebody was uh, contaminating Tylenol capsules um, this version is taken from of course the viewpoint of the Punisher and I don't remember, but there's a Daredevil issue that ties into this that is basically Daredevil's version of the events that happened. I believe it's 257, but I'm not sure. But uh, this is a pretty good story. I really enjoyed it. And that is it. Thanks for uh, watching. And uh, if you want to see more content, uh, just like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you later.